I am Green Trump One. Back for more Super Paper Mario. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, all right. So it's been a while since I've recorded. I know. Um, but you know things happen. I get just started school. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, now we're about to start my least favorite chapter in the game. Hooray. Well, you know what? The sooner we get started, the sooner we get done. So, let's start. Mara and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, I'm released words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above the flip side. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Alright, um... Jeez, I feel like I should be starting my introduction right here. Because this is where, all, like, three quarters of the videos of the introductions are. Um, but I also have a question for you guys. Do you find the screen crooked? Because all I have to tell is about a two inch by an inch and a half screen. Not exactly a big screen. However, you guys are watching it on a larger screen. So, you guys can probably tell better. Is it crooked at all? Just let me know. Just tell, tell me in the comments. Don't... You, you don't have to criticize me and give me a thumbs down and blah, 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 blah. But just tell me. So this is where the pu that door leads. I suppose the pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, gee, uh, I don't know. Oh, my God. Giant tongues are attacking butterflies. <laughs> Oh, delicious! A dinosaur. Hi, technical. I caught a super pixelated butterfly. Oh my gosh! A super nerdy talking dinosaur. My friends at Digibutter.ner are going to freak when they get word of this find. <laughs> I must bring it home. I can't make this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. For those of you who don't know, that's actually a reference to the previous game, where Grotus was kind of like the main villain. No way am I going to entrust my digital recorder me out to tape an episode so epic. Like, Rotus was basically the uh, Count Black of this game, you could see. This is so high technical! Oh my gosh! It's a dino- It's a super nerdy talking dinosaur that has invisibility powers! And ate Tippy. Whoa ho ho! Kidnapping! Oh, the despair! The awful spectacle of it all! The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tinder eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel. Now that freak Francis has got her. Alright, um... Alright, this is the Bitland. I actually find this really cool, kind of... You know, it's really big pixels. Whoa-ho! Oh my gosh, we're getting a new pixel, right? Right? Not right. Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. Nike like grabbed her, Francis. Basically, the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy too. Have you guessed this? What he meant something like he likes. There's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fan fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Whoa, now you want to know what Francis is? Well, if you go, I forgot what he said. Okay. Um, you're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd layer and risking her, are you? Yeah. Look, no, blah, blah, blah. Not important stuff. Alright, so the, here's going to give you some travel tips. Alright. Alright, three tips. Here's first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't going to be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and, some, and maybe something will happen for you. Okay, so red X mark. Now for my second tip. If somehow you have passed those clones of the castle, there's an ocean, can't miss it. A big scary sea monster listed, the base is huge and cranky, but if you toast it with this red flipper thing, something is bound to happen. Okay, so red X, red X mark, and red flipper. Alright, and here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can do a cross. Do something with the red wind, huh? Wait, that's an inanimate object. I can't do anything with it. I can't see it. Aww. Jeez, we're already like five minutes into the video? Jeez, get all that. Okay. So, red X mark, red flipper, red wind. Alright. 
And then he hides again. You can actually get him a little later, but he's not required. It's optional. And it's not all that great anyways. And I'm really not going to be doing any of the optional pixels in this game. I'm sorry. There's a bunch of other YouTubers out there who have said how to get these optional pixels though. So yeah. So there's something you may notice about this Koopa. These Koopas that are not like any other Koopas in this game so far. Um, they aren't wearing sunglasses. Alright, so just go ahead, go to the top here, and get all these bonus points. It's just kind of a good strategy tip for you right there. Alright. Um, oops. Alright. Um, you can actually head up here. Um, this is what I think it is. I think we can skip it. Oops. I should be doing this in 2D. What am I doing? What the? I pressed 2! Gah! And what's unfortunate is I don't, I don't have the ability to cut this out e too because I don't have a video editing program yet. Um, I just went 3D basically through all that. Oh, of the well. Oh, this is what I think it is. It's not required. You can't secret sprint here, I think. But, what the heck. Might as well show you where stuff comes from. I don't really like the sequence break. Oh, come on. It should be just a shell. That's all that was drawn. Alright. Let's fight. Pixels with pixels. Yay, pixels! Run faster! I oh, you know what, this also gets you a lot of points. So... Alright, fall between... And backwards E's that says fall in between the red pipes. And hit this block. And way back there, the platform appears. So once again, in backwards E's that says fall fall but fall in between the red pipes. Yes, I read Yes, I speak backward E's. There's actually a little glitch in this game. I'm not sure if I told you this already. I think I did. Um, but if you hold the control pad to the left, right, like I'll do it here for you. Um, and now all I have to do is keep jumping. And I keep, and I keep moving to the right. It didn't work there, but, oh my gosh, there's a bug in, in the room that I'm recording this right now. And it's like landing on the screen only when I'm recording. Like, I had to, like I had to scrap another recording because of it and I tried to swat it. But, I couldn't find it anymore. And I have to have all the lights off in here, or else there's glare on the screen um, when I'm recording. Cause that, yeah. I don't want to take care of these goons. You know what? What the heck? Let's send them that way. Oh yeah, failure. Voice crack. Two. Voice crack failure. Oh, there was a mega store to do all that. No oh, man. Like I knew that, so you can just hit that on your first way through and it makes it a whole ton easier. Alright, so it's that fall between the red pipes. Hey! These are red pipes! Gee, wonder what we should do. Alright. Oh man, I love this part. They have like the two Goombas coming after you. What does this look like to you? That should be a fire flower! 
Not pal pills. I actually don't know if there's anything secret in 3D here. Um, I'm not 100% sure on this, but maybe there's a zombie shroom in there. Greatness. Uh oh. Oh man, last time I didn't. Um, so yeah, now I'm critical. Um, so, like I'm critical. And once it starts, it usually happens when you're at about a, um, a quarter of your, below a quarter of your HP. So you probably just want to eat some food. So like this, and go ahead and eat a fried shroom plate. And he has practically all my HP right there. So yeah, that's basically the best thing you can do. I think I might have my pal kills kill everything. That's a whole bunch of free points. Who doesn't like free points? Um. Now of course there's your three pipes over here. And get off the screen, you stupid bug. Thank you for obeying my commands. All right, so uh, basically just kick those, these guys. I have a feeling I may have to cut this into two parts. Halt! I have a pretty good feeling. Well, yeah, yeah, you. This is Bowser Castle, and his burliness is not like Trump's like you kicking up the place. You're about to get a complimentary nose job courtesy of my shell. Come on up, fellas. Yeah, a shocker coach is gonna is gonna kick us. Yeah. Yay. Yay, his soccer team. Come and get some. Cause I'm so afraid of you and your soccer team. I kick your soccer teams. Ooh, turtly leaf. Unfortunately no shell comes from that. Uh, I don't believe there's any way to damage that. Alright. Now what you want to do here is you see a little crack in the wall there, right? And he said to do something with the red X mark. So let's blow that up. Because we like blowing things up. Oh my gosh. Please tell me something didn't just blow up. My awesome lair. Your awesome old lair. It's like you. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario and Princess Peach. And Princess Peach? Why do you always have to do that? That's like the 100th time you showed up at my castle and screwed everything up. I believe it was actually my 97th. Borg! And somehow by jumping, she, he, he blows Peach all the way, but Mario stands firm. Yep, that's why Mario keeps all that fat on him and decides not to burn it off. I like how there's just a pixelated Mario standing by. But now you're after the force of pain, Mario! No more Mario sequels, it's gonna end right here, and right now, once for all. I doubt that. Alright, now, you can't jump on his shell. That's bad. Uh, basically, the best thing you can do, because his shell is like, I, I basically suggest using Boomer here. And just, uh, pressing a one and blowing him up. I believe this is the last part of this chapter, and I need to finish this up quickly. I believe it only has 20 HP. Oh, yep. No, I hate Mario. It's, it's not fair. And then suddenly the walls disappear. Mario! I have less, I have about a minute left, so I need to make this quick. Are you okay? Ah, uh, just my lovely wife. Your wife? What? Uh, wedding was just sham. Yeah, found a castle. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Talk to talk. Black just plans to destroy the world, and that's why we need you to help us to find the pure hearts. No, I don't wanna. I'll think about it if it was for you, but not for Mario. Don't be a big baby. Baby, 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 please for me. No, I don't wanna. Well, okay, I like how Mario convinces him rather than Peach in this. Oh. Murph! Bark! Fine, I'll join your stupid quest. Are you happy? Yeah. No, I'm not sweet. Come on! 20 seconds, 20 seconds! Come on! We can do this, we can do this, we can do this! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ten seconds! Alright, well you know what? Right after this is the end of chapter block. So, I'm just gonna go right here. Okay? Bye guys. Sorry for the abrupt-